There is a key on your Mac that unlocks a whole world of shortcuts and features, and chances are you're not using it enough. That would be the Option key. The Option key on your Mac is one of the most underrated tools. If you've ever thought there has to be a faster way to do this, chances are the Option key is your answer. So let's dive into some shortcuts that will save you time, boost your productivity, and unlock features you might not even know exist. First up, let's talk about Finder. Have you ever needed to get information about a file or folder? The usual way to get information is to right-click the item and select Get Info or use the keyboard shortcut Command plus I. But if you need to get information about multiple items, repeating this step many times over becomes extremely tedious. Instead, use the shortcut Command Option I. This opens the inspector window. Unlike the regular info window, the inspector updates automatically as you click through different files. It's faster, cleaner, and way more efficient. Now let's talk about deleting files. Typically, you drag the file to the trash or use the shortcut Command plus Delete to do the same thing. But then you have to empty the trash periodically to make sure it's not taking up space in your SSD. If you're certain that you don't need a file, use Command Option Delete instead to skip the trash and permanently delete it. Just be careful, there's no undo here. Next, let's tackle window management. Let's say you have several Safari windows open and your desktop is looking like a mess. Minimizing open windows is one way to reduce the clutter, and normally you would minimize them one at a time, right? But this is also quite tedious. Instead, hold Option and click the Minimize button on the top left corner of the window. All windows of that app will now minimize in one quick swoop. This is a lot more efficient than minimizing one window at a time. Alternatively, maybe you have multiple apps open and they're all overlapping, and all you want to see is the app that you are currently working on. For example, let's say I only wanted the Notes app to be visible and hide the rest. I would select the Notes app to make that active, then use Command Option H to hide everything except the Notes app. It's an instant way to cut through the noise and stay focused. Now let's come back to the multiple Safari windows. Quite often, I have 10 or 20 tabs open when I'm doing really deep work. I also have the habit of keeping them open for days and weeks because I don't want to lose the research but this can be a resource hog on the system RAM. To free up RAM, I could use Command Q to shut down the app, but then I would lose all the tabs and windows when I reopened it. A more useful shortcut is to use Command Option Q. Now, when you reopen the app, all the windows and tabs will be right where you left it. It's like hitting pause instead of stop. Finally, if you want to maximize a window without going into full screen mode, Hold Option and select the Maximize button on the top left corner of the window. Now let's move to the menu bar where the Option key brings some extra functionality. Let's say you're troubleshooting your Wi-Fi. Hold Option while clicking the Wi-Fi icon for a more detailed look at your connection parameters. On the sound front, if you wanted to quickly switch between speakers, headphones, or microphone, hold Option and select the sound icon. All your available input and output devices will appear ready for quick selection. Need system information? Click the Apple logo to open the menu, then hold Option. The About This Mac menu item will change to System Information, which gives you all the detailed specs and hardware information about your Mac in one click. Next, let's move to Volume and Screen Brightness. If you're someone who likes precise control, the Option key has you covered here too. Option plus either volume key opens the sound settings directly, so no need to navigate through system settings to find it. And Shift, Option, and pressing the volume keys adjusts the volume in smaller increments rather than full blocks. The same goes for brightness. Shift, Option, and pressing the brightness keys lets you fine tune your display brightness without big jumps. On the productivity front, if you're someone who works with a lot of text, the Option key is about to make your life a lot easier. In documents with a lot of text, Option plus the left or right arrow key moves the cursor one word at a time in either direction. 
Option plus the up or down arrow moves the cursor up or down by one line. Need to select a portion of text really fast? Use Shift, Option plus the left or right arrow keys to select entire words. Or use Shift, Option plus the up or down arrow key to select entire sentences. This is a game changer for anyone editing long documents. And lastly, when an app freezes and your mouse isn't responding, don't panic. Press Option, Command, Escape to open the Force Quit window. Use the arrow keys to select the unresponsive app, hit enter, and it's gone. Quick and easy without needing to restart your Mac. And that's it. The option key is a simple way to work smarter on your Mac. Let me know in the comments which of these shortcuts you are going to try first. And if you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.